So I ended my last video on the floor, I'm on the floor again. I don't have a, an actual chilling place in my studio. I laid out the... Um, it's like a picnic blanket I bought years ago. It's quilted. I just finished having lunch and I'm destroyed partly by food, partly by life. Yesterday I actually took a break uh, from filming because I was pretty tired by drawing every day and also filming every day even though I enjoy it it makes obviously the drawing phase much longer I cannot exactly do a four week vlog because the last part which is this one will be longer than seven days so I thought it's okay for skip a few days I guess and yesterday was one in any case, I didn't film the actual drawing phase, but this is the drawing. It will never focus, never, ever, never, ever, 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 never. I'm pleased that people actually liked this piece. Why is it so light? Anyway, doesn't matter. This one was a drawing inspired by a quote from a book I read this year. I'm not a big reader. This year I read more, possibly because of quarantine. I started the year with this series of four books written by Elena Ferrante. Possibly this is not a real name, I understood. This series of books is about the life of two girls in the south of Italy, in Naples, around the 60s. I don't remember specifically now. I really love the books, I read them so fast. And the quote I picked is from the third book. Should I read the quote? Maybe it's good to give context. I need to find it. Wait. Look at me being here reading quotes like a person who reads. So the quote is in Italian, but obviously I read it in English because I'm not sadistic. It was a verb that I always... I can't read, apparently. Become. It was a verb that had always obsessed me. I wanted to become, even though I had never known what. And I had become, that was certain, but without an object, without a real passion, without a determined ambition. A lot of quotes from these books hit me, and this one is one of those that I can actually take out of context, because you don't need to have a story behind it to understand what this means. I always felt like I'm really driven towards what I work for. My problem is that I often don't know what I'm working for or what I'm striving for and this slows me down. So I feel like I've always been um, evolving and growing. For sure I can see that. I can see that year by year. Um, but I feel like I don't know where I actually want to be or like what I'm actually again striving for building towards or what I should build so this is this sentence is definitely totally me let's change angle again let's do a creepy angle today I have to draw my favorite color in two items this prompt I created it going completely against myself because my favorite color is blue some of you may know at least for the last couple of years the problem with blue is that no many things are actually only blue for example if I had to draw an object in black and white that make you understand that my color was yellow then it wouldn't be that hard I could draw a lemon I could draw the sun and you immediately know that I'm talking about yellow. But with blue, anything I draw, if it's not colored, you couldn't get that it's actually blue, right? I don't know, I can draw sapphire, but it could be any other stone, an animal that is blue, but it will be also the colors. Anyway, you understand what I mean, right? Also, the second challenge of this day in particular is that I'm drawing with red. So I'm actually gonna draw something supposed to be blue, but it's gonna be red. So, shall we do that?
Mmm, living room vibes. The drawing I, I made yesterday and filmed basically was your favorite spot in winter and I've been drawing my favorite spot in winter since again, since I can remember. In my parents' house we didn't use the heating as much as I would do now by myself. We used to have this like small heater. We always put it on before the shower so the environment is warmed up and uh, I started to abuse it even outside showering. So I like to sit there and read, but because it gets too hot, then I get naked, so it's never too hot. Reach that balance, it gets your eyes so dry. It's not the, be it's not the best, I mean, it's not, but I love it so much, so. I don't think I'll ever stop, not anytime soon. Today's best sleeping position which I have a specific idea about, but uh, we can discuss it later. It's day 26. I have such a thick stack of drawings. Look. Today I have to do a drawing about a sentence from a song. This one is one of the ones I struggled the most. I wasn't trying to look for anything like so mind-blowing. I decided to go for something that is a sentence from a song that I really repeat very often in my head. I have drawn this so many times. Let's go!
Hi, that's me from the future. I was editing the video now and I realized that if I put everything together, it, the video is going to be way too long. So I think I will stop this one here and continue the rest of the challenge next week. I've been already editing that, but I know it will take a while at the end for me to like wrap it up. So it's better to split it in two, I think. So um, see you next week then. Thank you for watching.